We're continuing to monitor and respond uh, to the situation as it unfolds. And I've directed the full resources of the federal government to help state and local authorities protect our people, increase security around the United States as necessary, and investigate what happened. The American people will say a prayer for, for Boston tonight. And Michelle and I send our deepest thoughts and prayers to the families of the victims in the wake of this senseless loss. We don't yet have all the answers, but we do know that multiple people have been wounded, some gravely, in explosions at the Boston Marathon. I've spoken to FBI Director Mueller and Secretary of Homeland Security Napolitano, and they're mobilizing the appropriate resources to investigate and to respond. I've updated leaders of Congress in both parties, and we reaffirm that on days like this, there are no Republicans or Democrats. We are Americans united in concern for our fellow citizens. I've also spoken with Governor Patrick and Mayor Menino and made it clear that they have every single federal resource necessary to care for the victims and counsel the families. And above all, I made clear to them that all Americans stand with the people of Boston. Boston police, firefighters, and first responders, as well as the National Guard, responded heroically and continue to do so as we speak. It's a reminder that so many Americans serve and sacrifice on our behalf every single day without regard to their own safety in dangerous and difficult circumstances. And we salute all those who assisted in responding so quickly and professionally to this tragedy. We still do not know who did this or why. And people shouldn't jump to conclusions before we have all the facts. But make no mistake, we will get to the bottom of this. And we will find out who did this. We'll find out why they did this. Any, respons uh, any responsible individuals, any responsible groups will feel the full weight of justice. Today is a holiday in Massachusetts, Patriot's Day. <laughs> will pull together, take care of each other, and move forward as one proud city. And as they do, the American people will be with them every single step of the way. Uh, you should anticipate that as we get more information, uh, our teams will uh, provide you briefings. Uh, we're still in the investigation stage at this point, uh, but I just want to reiterate, uh, we will find out who did this, and we will hold them accountable. Thank you very much. Responsible for what happened just about three hours or so ago. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, covering, we're covering the breaking news out of Boston. Clearly, a terror attack at the Boston Marathon. Two explosions have killed at least two people. The Boston Globe reporting at least 90 people have been injured, some of them critically injured. Sources tell CNN third apparent explosive device has been found. Experts are, experts are working to dismantle it. This is a different location. Boston police are urging everyone right now to keep off the streets, to stay at their, to stay at home or in their hotels. Cities including New York City, Washington, D.C., and Los Angeles, they are increasing security right now out of an abundance of caution, according to local law enforcement. We have complete CNN team coverage of this terror attack on the Boston Marathon. We're watching all angles of what's going on right now. Uh, and these are some of the images uh, that were captured of what's going on. Uh, Jessica Yellen was in the briefing room when the president spoke. Uh, Jessica, the president did not say this is a terror attack. Uh, as we are saying now, based on what law enforcement, federal law enforcement is telling us, uh, but uh, I, I assume the president is trying to be overly cautious before he declares this a terror attack. I think that they're being very careful, uh, and he is uh, has had experience uh, with these kinds of situations uh, after uh, the attack in Libya and, and uh, he carefully avoiding using the word, using the word. Uh, the fact that he didn't mention it right now, Wolf, I think is meaningful, and uh, perhaps they have some more information than we do. Uh, he's being 
considered, I think, and uh, there must be a reason he chose not to use that word. Uh, he um, clearly is uh, determined, and one of the you know messages that they consistently send out, they sent out after the death of bin Laden was uh, bin Laden's capture, bin Laden's, the killing of bin Laden was a message to the world that when we say we will uh, make people who attack America or cause death in America pay, we mean it. Uh, and when he stood here today and said we will find out who did this and they will pay consequences, uh, he uh, clearly had intent and he meant it. So uh, that doesn't mean that somebody will pay the same price, but he was quite sincere and uh, quite firm in that. Uh, and at the same time, was quite careful not to use the word terrorism. So I think we should all uh, heed what he said and uh, take interest in that. I'll try to find out why they were being uh, so careful here in avoiding calling it terrorism. You know, the president is very precise in his words. That's a very sensitive issue. Uh, the uh, de declaring it a terror a attack uh, and it has real ramifications as far as the federal government is concerned. So go ahead, Jessica, check with your sources. Fran Townsend, uh, your, your sources, your law enforcement sources, have told you that the federal government now does believe this was, in fact, a terror event. That, that's right, Wolf. And it may be, let's remember, you know...